So how do we configure the CNX wireless multimeter to read the data from its remote modules? Where here we have a voltage module, the first thing that's important to do is make sure that you've turned on your remote modules, connected them to the circuit. A nice feature of these modules, as you can see, is they can be used as a standalone meter. We can actually read what the value is. And then we press the wireless button, so now they're starting to broadcast wirelessly, and they even work with our magnetic straps for you to be able to hang them. So we have a voltage module, a plastic clamp current module on the input current of the drive, and we have our iFlex module on phase three on going between the drive and the motor. So we can remotely take these measurements at a distance. We could actually have this in a cabinet and we could be away from this. To read those, we simply turn on our CNX module and we hit the wireless button and it will go out and poll to see how many wireless modules are out there. Now we can connect to up to 10 wireless modules and can display three of them on the display of the meter at one time. So here it came up and showed us we have the A3000. I'll select that. I go to down arrow. I want to see the voltage module. I will select that. And then I have the I3000 flex clamp module. I'll select that. Once they're selected, I could either wait or just hold in the arrow button for two seconds and it will turn them on. So here we can see we have six amps that is coming in to the input of the drive. We have 119.9 volts that's be measuring at the input going into the drive. And on the output over here, we have 13.1 amps using the flex clamp. So this is how we would configure the Fluke CNX 3000 to read data remotely from modules that are up to 60 feet away.